What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to protective style that is perfect for the winter and summer and spring and fall if you would like. So starting off, we're going to be using the Piqui, Piqui, Piqui oil by Oros. Um, so as you guys seen, it's a hair milk and I'm going to be using that. And I also have a cream of nature hair mask in my hair and I left that in as a deep conditioner and as my leave-in as well. And then I also steamed my hair. But to finalize this style, we're just going to go in with that equal style black Jamaican castor oil. And from my face, y'all can see that the mixture was bomb. And it's just, it just created a lot of slip. It was moisturized. And yeah, it was just a bomb combination to use for this particular style. So this style, again, I do use it pretty much throughout the seasons. It's just something that I do when I, I'm lazy. I don't feel like doing my hair. Because y'all know I got a lot of hair. It's really long. It's about waist length or a little bit longer. And it's thick, so it's a lot of work. Okay, so y'all know that I'm all about my sections. It just makes my life so much easier. So for my wash and goes, I obviously like to start from back to front. Just so that way I can make sure I get everything. With this as well, we're going to be parting my hair. Our, blah, 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 what? We're going to be parting our hair from back to front. And then we're going to go ahead and move over to the front. And we're going to do the exact same thing to make sure that part is straight. Okay, so now we got that part straight, we're going to go ahead and put up the left side, right side? I think I did the left side first. So we're going to put up the right side, and we're only going to focus on the left. We're going to direct all that attention to the left, and we're going to start off by brushing the product through. And I'm actually going to add more gel to my roots, as you guys can see. This part, I feel it's... For me, at least, it's the most crucial just because, again, my hair is thick. I do have multiple hair patterns. So in order for me to get the most sleekest style and the neatest looking style, I do have to add just a little bit more gel in the parts where my hair is a little bit curlier. And then we're going to go in with a boar bristle brush and then kind of sleek that hair down a little bit. So when your hair is sleeked back and sleeked and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead with a long tooth. Is that a long tooth? No. It's a long tail comb and I'm going to pretty much do a little triangle towards the part, if that makes sense. And that is going to be the beginning of my braid. Now I am not doing a braiding tutorial. I already have one on my channel, but in case you guys are wondering how to braid wet natural hair, it's pretty much how you would braid dry natural hair but you just have to be a little bit more cautious you definitely don't want to do this when you have polish that's like lifting because you obviously know it's going to snag or you just don't want to be too rough or aggressive because then you will physically hear your hair start to pop and it's not the best feeling and it's not the best sound so definitely just take your time when you're braiding your hair just so that way you do avoid all of those mishaps you know Okay, so now that we have the first half braided, what you're going to do, you're going to actually go ahead and just, I guess you can say clip or just pin it um, down just so that way it doesn't unravel. And then we're going to add more gel to the back section and then we're going to comb that out as well with my Tangle Teaser brush. And I honestly found that this is the best way for me to ensure that my roots and that my hair is as flat and defined as possible just so that way my braid is not looking too crazy or nothing like that.
And for the bottom, you just want to make sure that you braid all the way down to the very end until you can't braid anymore. And then I go in with a rubber band, which I haven't used rubber bands in so long. I actually just used it for this video because all of my ponytail holders and my silk scrunchies, they're all stretched out and it's not going to fit on my hair. So yeah, for the other half, I did speed up the video a little bit for you guys, just that way you guys can see it. Um, but for this protective style, it is super simple. I would say in total, it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to do both sides. And again, this is how I've been doing my braided protective style all this time because again, my hair is getting super thick on me. It's getting long and it's just a lot to handle, especially when you're trying to do it wet. So when you finish with your braids, they should look a little something like this. As you can see, they are de they are detangle free. Oh god, they are tangle free. They're combed out. They're brushed out. They're neat. They're nice, and they just uniform. So once you do your edges, this is how your hair should come out, or it should come out similar depending on how you swoop and swoosh them edges. But yeah, I do hope you guys like my go-to protective style. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. I do hope you subscribe. Do <laughs> give me a thumbs up and i think that's all i got for you guys make sure to share it and i will see y'all in my next one